Greetings everybody. So this is a, um, a video on um, therapy for the first time and how to determine if you need therapy. Okay? Um, so I was in the grocery store today. We were shopping and a lady behind me was going to therapy or getting ready to go to therapy. And she kind of wanted to know what to expect how to determine if it's the right person to go to. So I'm going to give you kind of a rundown of kind of how I um, interpret that. Um, so one of the first things is first of all insurance. Because if, if it's not covered under insurance then there's no reason for you to go because it's going to be out of pocket. It's going to be very expensive. Second thing is is the therapist or the practice reputable? Okay, if they're reputable and they have good reviews, then I would recommend going to them. Um, the second thing is is getting the right therapist for you. Um, usually, they have more than one, so you can kind of pick and feel out which one is the best fit for you with what's the situations that you have. But also admitting that you need help. Okay. There's often this thing where, oh, we just go to therapy, it'll be done, and that's it. No, it, you have to dig deep in there, no matter how painful it is here. You have to dig into that, and you need to tear that out, and you need to work through it. And that's what therapy's for. But it's not just for that. It's also for healing, for coping skills, for making you stronger emotionally as a person. Um, you know... A lot, of, a lot of reasons why I recommend to go to therapy because people can drive you down to where you have no choice but you have to go to it. Um, another thing is determining if you need therapy is if nothing else has worked in your life. Like if you've never had therapy and you've tried it on your own or self-medicated or whatever the medications that you're on doesn't work, um, give the therapy a chance because you can talk things out. You can write notes down. You can write a journal down between visits and at visits of any questions or concerns that you have with the therapist. And the therapist can then create a treatment plan for you, um, whether that's inpatient, outpatient, partial program, depending on what situation you have. It also really depends on what, you, what you're going to deal with. So, for me, it's depression and my sexuality that I had a problem with. Um, it's a lot better than it was. Um, I can tell you from therapy, it has benefited me a lot. Um, but you have to be willing to cooperate with them. You know, you got to be willing to admit, I got a problem, I need help, let's figure this out. Um, and then last off, get rid of negative influences in your life. So if you have all those negative friends, just, just get rid of them. No matter how painful it is, just get rid of them. If you can. If without, obviously, creating a, a catastrophe. But that's really the, um, the rundown of therapy. Um... And so whatever people say about therapy, though, oh, you're going to a shrink, all oh, this, that, don't listen to them. Because if you know you need it and you know it'll help you, go to it. Okay, so I hope this helped out the person that I met today um, at the um, ShopRite store in Delaware here. Um, so like, subscribe, link in description below. Cheers, folks.